and can replicate that against Secret. They are the favorite team after all, but Secret, they definitely stole one away on train. I am joined by tea time. I feel very sad when your introduction is so much more professional than mine is. <laughs> I had to think about that one. It was, uh... <laughs> I don't know if people caught the mon monitor punching with secret. I did, I did, <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think a lot of people uh, know the Dota references. Mighty Max, though, well, he's punching a few people of secret. Unfortunately, secret actually punches back pretty damn hard. And I get three beautiful kills coming in. Mighty Max trying to do something. One flat through was flashed up, of course, but three versus two with the bomb still being in possession off the t side might turn awry but oh no mighty max you are here to party he is the in-game leader of course you don't expect him to frag out but i am expecting him to show off just a little bit now that he's done that that was also a very nice uh glove pistol combination don't know if you saw that one juan flatra however is unfortunately able to sidestep them mighty max going through he knows the smoke that lands right in the middle, but he ends up going for the one on the left instead. It actually gives him safe passage towards this. He does want to get at least one kill. He's picked out, trying to isolate the duels. Is unsuccessful in doing so. Has eight bullets in the magazine, but is not able to finish it off. One for nothing off the back of a 3k from Anarchers, which we will see again right there. Beautiful stuff as he just taps away. Yeah, great start from Team Secret here, and that's exactly what they needed. Endpoint have looked ferocious on Dust 2, to say the least, and for Secret to take that one away and not even allow a bomb plant is going to be massive for them. As now, Endpoint, they're going to be forced into just a full-on B-Rush. Wow, this is a... Uh... Oh, okay, they hightail it towards lower. Maybe off of the back of that Molotov. Maybe it was their initial plan. Regardless, they are going to be making their way towards middle. Tudson's trying to take him down, but is unable to do so. And it looks like it's actually just going to be a cat play. This is actually a pretty safe approach from Endpoint, all things considered. And if it allows a bomb plant, they got to be pretty happy about that. But Secret, you're going to see it here. They're going to solidify that A defense because they think the cat play is coming up but it's actually going to be another backtrack from endpoint as synopsy has pushed towards long here he's going to be swarmed by these blocks but they are after all just blocks he's going to be farming on them up gets actually dinked out and a surreal will be able to find a single kill i mean money i guess one flash for take on thomas as well do this aggression i'm loving it from secret um i wouldn't say it's a right play to make but it's the right play to make given the game that they just had before and i'm sure endpoint uh desperately needed to get some confidence uh, get some wind under their sails and after that mate not the best of ways to start off if that's what you're looking for i expect a faster contact play to come through from endpoint right now them slowing things down would be very surprising to me um but I have been surprised a lot in my counter strike right? It's something I'm actually quite happy about. Thomas goes forward, and that's the fast contact that I'm talking about. Great play initially. One flash were also taken down as they try to get some control over the lower tunnels and mid. As a result of that, they actually come through before the smoke has even dissipated. The crossing smoke, that is. That's very fast. Anakaz will have to lean forward as well. He sees the smoke coming, and he knows it's time to peek. He gets himself two kills. Percy will come through with a little bit more damage, but not the full kill. Unfortunately for him, Mighty Max has found his way right behind him. Yeah, this is going to be a pretty hard retake from Secret here. They at least have a flash and a smoke, so they might be able to isolate a couple of these players off, depending how they use this utility, maybe find an entry off of it. But as that smoke lands, I think Percy is willing to uh, give that all up. He's going to be able to retrieve an AK along with Synopsy. Actually, they're looking to do a little bit of damage, and I don't actually think this is the worst of plays. They're going to still have a decent buy into the next round if only one of these players falls. But if both do, then it's going to be a little bit tricky for them. Synopsy, he's going to be hunting towards spawn right now. Crucial's right on the other side of this wall. This is a very unusual spot for a terrorist to be in, and I think Synopsy might get caught off guard by this peak from Crucial if he makes a very clean jump. We'll see how he tries to approach here. It's not the cleanest of jumps as he has to jump in a straight line forward. So that's good damage actually from Secret. It might enable them moving forward if they do take this round down to really hurt Endpoint's economy and run away with this half. We'll see how things turn up. 
I want to see Endpoint come through with the same power they had against Skate. I want to see that Robin. I want to see that Crucial, that, that Surreal, that Thomas. And yeah, I, we're not getting that so far. One flat throw though has given Thomas a chance to get his gun roaring. Synopsy moves in, but he will end up falling. And Arquez as well, trying to get overzealously aggressive through a smoke, trying to use that M4A1S where you can't trace the bullets. But at the end of the day, when there's three players in front of you, they're probably going to find you at one point. Just Percy and Tudson remain. They actually uh, did move towards that A site, but Surreal, I think he may have caught the rotation at one point. So that's going to be the round of victory secured for Endpoint, unless some crazy scenes are witnessed. In the middle, oh. that's going to be the case. Tudson caught off guard by that positioning. Percy, he probably just wants to keep this AK into the upcoming round. Actually, he looks like he is oddly hunting for a kill here. This is perhaps ill-advised, but he is just going to back off the angle. Oh, no, staying around a fight. This is... Uh... Oh, this is very odd. This is very odd to say the least. And he's probably not long for this world now that his position has been given up. And I think that's a very um, kind of selfish decision from him to try to just find that frag because now he's not giving his team any chance to come around. And somehow Robin doesn't find that frag, but he's being swarmed from every angle. Endpoint, yeah. if they take too many casualties here, this could be bad for them, but he's going to get hunted down. And I'm not sure why he doesn't just want to escape with the AK here. It seems like he just weirdly wants a kill. It, it, that kind of play usually comes out from teams that don't trust each other, that are just hunting stats so that they can get onto a new team. I don't think that's the case for Secret, given the organization backing that they have. I think they are very comfortable where they are, but maybe uh, there is a, a little bit of internal conflict. Maybe I'm just reading all too much into it. I, pro I hope that's the case, and I hope that Secret are able to uh, join hands, sing a little kumbaya together, and move <laughs> themselves into the upcoming rounds with a little bit more cohesion and chemistry is that how you coach your north american mdl teams kumbaya you'd be surprised you'd be surprised why what that's advantage to... broke down <laughs> you'd be surprised what that's able to accomplish um and just how far that can take you a little bit of singing <laughs> makes the world a better place i mean we saw it as soon as uh, the coronavirus came out how many north american uh stars just started singing heal the world just, it, yeah, exactly. Right on Twitter. I mean, that really changed yeah. things. And uh, you can see that uh, Secret, because they didn't join hands, because they didn't sing in... They were trying. Yeah. Like better. They all got together on the corner. They were, they were getting their singing voice ready. They were getting all of the you know, vocal exercises in. Um, lots of exercise being done on the server right now, actually. We've got a couple of eco franks, which is great exercise for when the real round actually starts, where I'm not going to be talking about singing... Uh, that's a lie. I am going to be talking about singing there and then as well. That's just something I do. Okay, Mac 10 in the hands of Percy, but for some reason, um, he wanted to try getting the kill with the USB. Of course, he is largely just uh, using it for the range advantage. I'm just being a bit off an arse. <sighs> Yeah, but we're seeing a different endpoint here. They have confidence now. They are familiar with Dust2, as is everybody in the Counter-Strike scene, but endpoint in particular. This is a map that they looked really good on earlier today. Good tag, actually, to start the round off from Crucial, but a re-peak, actually, is going to cost him his life. Anarchist with a nice little bait-and-switch play from his teammates jumping across middle. It's actually a very purposeful... Uh, lack of a cross smoke there and you actually kind of love to see that it's a risk being taken from the secret players but it, it really solidifies their defense for the remainder of this round they still are going to have three smokes in play along with this one that they just put up and you know that that's actually going to make a big difference we saw how endpoint was able to use smokes on the long cross though so we'll see how the smoke versus smoke play the war of attrition in utility comes in as this round progresses oh one flat throw. He got so close. Those should have been two kills for them there and then. Anarkez, though, coming in from the side. It's surreal. They get a kill to Dunson. One flat throw, and Anarkez are responding. The flash goes high. It should allow them to peek through, and it does not. Robin takes down Synapse. But in the meanwhile, one flat throw has taken advantage of the chaos, finds a kill, and the AWP up the back of that secret with a. Uh, chaotic hold i would say but i would also say honestly they just got a bit unlucky i thought that the sprays through the smoke would just straight up kill two people if not at least heavily tag them but they didn't do any damage 
Yeah, and kind of a weird position from Secret at the end of that round to flash through and try to push the smoke despite having a 3v2 advantage. Crucial's looking for an advantage for his team, but he's going to get mollied off the angle. And Secret, they are going to have a lockdown over that long A side of the map. Such an important spot to have control over. And you can even see that Ar Anarchist is actually have... He has full cat control as well. Endpoint, they need something soon because uh, they have no ground whatsoever. And it's going to actually afford Secret a 2-1-2 setup. And that is one of the stiffest ways to defend this B site where it does look like Endpoint wants to end up. Maybe they will reroute though. Hmm. Crucial, waiting for B to come through, but... Instead, he is just going to find his vision smoked off. It would be pretty cool to see a boost on top of Xbox, but yeah, Synopsy will not be able to find anything beyond a few bullets in his chest that do damage him down to 24. It's all up to Anakes to carry the baton. He will get one kill and drop down. Synopsy's here to provide him a very necessary backup. But in the meanwhile, Endpoint might still actually decide to back up themselves, which would be a mistake given the timing on the clock. So they decide to gain the Synopsy is spraying through. Robin cracks the spray and will bring him down. In the meanwhile, Juan Flatra, who was there to give just some more backup, will be able to get one kill. But Anarche is still unable to peek through. Great flashes over there. He misses a shot that could lead to them losing this round. 3v3 situation, a good smoke at catwalk to solidify this post plan defense. It's actually going to make it so that Secret are pretty much just locked out of this round. They have to wait for the entire duration, but no, they're actually going to push on through. Thomas didn't expect that. He was playing anti-flash for himself. Now it's just down to Surreal in the 1v2. Anarchist and Percy both coming at him at the same time, and it's a good crossfire between the two. Anarchist able to find his third kill on the round. He is looking good right here on Dust2. I saw some flash of it on train but it seemed like everyone from sequel was firing but now anarchist he's actually showing some serious skill here on this map kind of breaking that round for endpoint just a little bit with his aggressive play towards the catwalk and he's able to stay alive finish things off he's already sitting at 11 kills in just seven rounds of play i mean he is very much carrying him through since the very first round where he got three kills and the pistol um i will say this I think you're absolutely right when you're saying that Secret looks like a team that they don't trust themselves, but more than that, Secret do look like a team that maybe doesn't even fully trust the in-game leader. I wouldn't jump the gun and say that until the end of the round at the very least, but Surreal finding an early kill onto one Flatcher who for some reason had started to jump down from short. I've seen people aggress, but jumping down is insanity to me. Uh, however, the two players in mid might be making very quick work of those who are looking to jump across. I love this position from Synopsy, but he changes it and uh, that's just unfortunate of course he is afraid that when they get on top of the xbox they might be able to see his legs and bring him down but it is what it is Hudson finds one surreal makes it two as they try to push through against a very flimsy buy and now it's all up to percy to try and defend this bomb side they can't get anything done as he whiffs his spray which i didn't even think was possible with the m4a1s but there you have it anything Anarchist missing shots is also possible, even if that had looked incredibly unlikely so far. Yeah, Surreal just kind of catching him off guard there, and Anarchist, when he was pushed out of his element into a situation that he didn't expect, it did not look pretty for him. Now, Secret kind of throwing away around there that they didn't have the uh, money to withstand. I still am very confused about that early push from Synopsy, I think, or Juan Flatro it was, actually. I don't understand what that jump down was supposed to accomplish. And now it seems like, whereas Endpoint was very confused on train, maybe it's Secret, who is a little bit lost here on Dust2. Uh, pushes out from Catwalk are going to catch Crucial off guard. That's a nice kill for them, but it's going to still be met by mm, Robin, who gets taken down by Juan Flatro. Now he has control of the bomb, but he has a lot of work to do. He's trying to find out where he wants to place himself in order to try to fend off these oncoming endpoint players. He's choosing the catwalk position. This is a very dangerous spot as he can be peaked from multiple angles in just moments notice. And he's going to be backing his way up to A. It seems like Endpoint still probably want to go towards B. That jump down was a little bit scary. Puts his health into the red now. And it's just probably at this point too much work endpoint they finally have gathered themselves here they're going to be moving up catwalk one is probably really? uh, disappointed about that he's probably disappointed about a lot of things right now 
He's disappointed that there's a Molotov there, which might actually force him to save the AK and give them a chance in the next round. They actually did him a favor there. Yeah, it was pretty unlikely for him to take it, but oh, I think he still wants a piece of this round. It looks like he's just going to be playing the doors, though. Doesn't want to overextend, and this is actually a pretty safe play from him, yeah. all things considered. Yeah, I like this. But I actually, I think I figured out why he uh, went for the Xbox jump in the previous round. Uh, it's because you saw how they were playing two people towards mid, right? So one of them actually heard uh, the push from upper tunnel to lower tunnel, more likely than not. And he was coming back and saying, hey, they're going, for, they're, going, they're going to enter lower tunnel. And Juan Flasher thought to himself, you know what, I'm actually already on short. So what if I just drop down, I can be next to Xbox, and I can aim straight down, get a few kills, back off over there, because I have enough players in uh, mid who can either refrag me, or who can flash for me, or who can make sure that even if I don't get out, you know, at the very least, they don't get much map control. That's probably his thought process, and then the communication was just bad, and they were already in lower tunnel. But um, that's all I can come up with. Hmm. Okay. Like, I don't agree with the decision, but yeah. You you give these players a lot of credit in a lot of I, the situations I, I, lately. No, 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 I've no. I'm, I, I'm, I'm trying to find something. I'm trying to, I'm not saying I think this is necessarily it. I'm just saying this is the only way I can justify to myself without feeling bad that, you know, I, I'm just not on a server because I suck. <laughs> Okay, so Robin uh, takes down Anarchas. Uh, it's looking like free teamwork. Juan Flatro, he couldn't get his AK actually involved the way that he wanted to in this to this round. He was just kind of forced back. The Molly, the early Molly from, uh, or the early mo Molly towards tunnels stops in his tracks. Thomas is going to take the duel against him. Juan, he's at least able to keep this AK alive. Maybe he can secure at the bare minimum a little bit more cash or just do some damage so that endpoint has to rebuy in the future. He's going to get caught off guard, but a quick flick from him actually is going to take down Robin as well. He's doing he's inflicting some pretty significant damage, actually. If he gets one more kill, this would be massive for mm -hmm. him and his team because uh, you can see Endpoint's money. It's actually yeah. not that healthy, uh, but if they keep three players alive, it'll, they'll be fine in the upcoming round. But if he found one more, this would be pretty devastating for Endpoint as Secret is going to be buying into the next round regardless of the outcome here. Mm -hmm. And Juan, I think he just wants to keep this AK. Very smart decision as it'll not only preserve... Uh, some cash and the gun itself, but uh, it's going to actually really solidify his buy into some later rounds in this half. You got to think down the line just a little bit if you're one, because you've been one of the only players stepping up for your team. How are you going to make sure that you can have impact into rounds in the future? Mm, by not jumping from Xbox into lower tunnels, that is my guess. Hopefully. Hopefully for the sake of... Uh, Secret. The competitiveness of this match. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Um, crucial. Watching a position which I recently just found out you could actually just watch short from there. I never knew that. I hate Duster so much uh, as a player that I just not played it enough. I actually quite like watching it though. Uh, Juan Flatro gets boosted up into position where if he's not mollied away this could be problematic and points was very good in the previous map actually about consistently mauling off the boost spot so i'm surprised that hasn't come through and that's probably actually a tell that they're going towards that a site now we see it on the radar that the bomb is headed over there but if Secret had done their homework or had even just watched the previous game, they'd see that every single time endpoint is going from mid to be like an actuality, they always molly that up corner. Every time. Mighty Max waiting. Oh, beautiful stuff from Crucial, man. You, you love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. Just knowing where he'd be coming in from. Synopsy swings out wide, gets two kills, though, and that does do away with a lot of the hard work of Crucial. Now, the question is, how long does it take for these CTs to get to spawn, and do they find Surreal before he finds them? I think that might be a difficult ask from them. They peeked out wide, lined up, and shot down. Synopsy, long-range duel, great peeks, great oh. taps, but not the last kill that he needed. Wow, I can't believe they actually swung on him like that. That could have been easily avoided. I'm pretty sure they knew exactly where he was, so that felt rather unnecessary. A lot of casualties in that round for Secret or for uh, Endpoint, but they still walk away with the victory and a really good display from Synopsy there in terms of pure aim and 
love to see that especially on a map like d2 where it's so important some of these long range duels can be really just one out based off of aim alone and it's a shame that his team wasn't able to even find one to support him hmm could have been a completely different round if they'd just been able to take down was it surreal or thomas who got the i think it was surreal Surreal getting that one and see those two in CT, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, they, if they just trade one for one, that changes it completely there and then. But unfortunate, that is a nice thing about off angles in 1vx situations. Um, I will very quickly say, though, about the point you were making earlier that I am being a lot nicer. I agree. But I think it's also partially because I've been coaching so much and I've been listening to so many excuses from my team at times. Where it's like, hey, this is what I was thinking. I'm like, okay, I get what's going on in your head, but it's just wrong. Yeah, you got to shut those down, TBA. Yeah, I do. But they, of, of course, I'm going to listen to any reasoning they give me. But yeah, just... Anyhow. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, uh, it seems like this is... As this seems to be... It's an anti-eco, it's fine. Tudson's getting some kills, though, so maybe we should talk about it. Never mind. You can go back right. to what you were saying. <laughs> There's a uh, rule I remember for Liquid mm, several years ago where they said that they took out of their lexicon the I thought and they would basically make sure that no one ever says that anymore yeah. because if you thought, you thought that's, wrong. That's that's excellent. I, I, I was trying really hard to do that as well but for me it was never I thought, for me it was like I heard because it's very difficult. Oh, hold that thought because Crucial is holding Tutson's dead body in his arms and saying goodbye sweet friend, I just killed you. Surreal now might be giving be given a chance to do the same as Anakez is the next man to go down. Easy five versus two situations Lots of dead bodies being held by a lot of people. Maybe they should let go of the baggage though and let Percy do his Ooh. job because he just got a no stop and he's looking for more. He's not done yet. He re peeked in and I'm wondering why he did that. But Thomas is saying thank you very much. Crucial will fell Synopsy next. And now Juan Plastro has found himself in the age old adage of saving. Yeah, he's just going to be spinning in spawn right here. Um, despite how smooth it looks. The only thing that's really going on smooth in the server is Endpoint's T side. This has been uh, quite a strong showing from them. A little bit of life being shown in the beginning for Secret, but Endpoint is uh, showing that they are much, a much more well versed Dust 2 team. One, he's still aware of Surreal's position here. Ooh, and a jump spot. I thought that was actually going to force Surreal to shoot and uh, maybe bait out just a wide swing after, but uh, it. Is not going to be the case. That's six in the row, six in a row for endpoint. They should be able to secure this one as well if they continue to just be thorough, strong, and persistent on their T side. Surreal with the excellent game thus far: twenty-one kills, one hundred fifty-nine ADR. This guy is carrying over his experience that he showed on train into this map, and it's a. Uh, netting them with a few more round victories this time around mighty max and robin with stereo frags towards long a surreal <sighs> great game from him so far i have to say he has been instrumental in a lot of these rounds it seemed like secret might be able to run away with it in the beginning like they look very much in line strategically individually but i have to quickly point out mate Anakaz has had 11 kills for the past six rounds or something ridiculous like that. He's gotten nothing and he's the he's opping. That is unacceptable. Yeah, he was pretty lively for a couple of these rounds, but it seems like it's just kind of pick and choose which rounds he's going to be useful on and the other rounds he's going to be pretty much uh, non-existent. Yeah. Oh, no, he exists. He is he's, uh, $300 on a plate. Thomas now is looking to find that plate, but unfortunately for him, this is not an Arquez. It is one Flatro who stays alive and kills people. Percy will be the next one to get a kill in his name. Robin now, he's uh, got himself some space to get Jiggy in mid. Could maybe end up finding anyone who gets out of position. And actually, he's uh, got is... a great angle for himself. But the problem is that Arquez has finally come in and got his angles right that's actually the second time he's taken that peek first time crucial was already there and peeking in so it's nice to see that anakez 
was able to finally get something in his favor. Percy as well, taking Robin down as he did navigate over from the B side as he realized that mid was completely open. But now, secret, please don't push your five versus one unless you... They just want stats. I, honestly, yeah. I'm not afraid to say it either. They actually do just want stats. There's no reason Percy should have really left B there. there yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's no reason Percy was supposed to leave B in that situation. The only way they lose the round is actually giving up B, but he just actually walked out of the bomb site. It took a fight towards middle that he could have easily lost, and then they could have just sprinted into the B site. So this is actually kind of indicative that Secret just... I, I mean, they look good on train, but you can see that in the way that their players are just kind of moving around the map, that they don't actually have any confidence that they're going to win this map, that they just want to make sure that their stat line at the end of it all is decent. And uh, Honestly, it's even kind on of, train, it's kind of sad. We, saw, we saw glimpses of that. Not, not that they thought they wouldn't win the map, just that they were hunting for kills. And I'm not even going to say that it's necessarily stance. It's just the... I guess it's just a small little endorphin rush of a kill, more than anything else. Crucial peeks out early, um, gets one kill over there. Some very good flashes actually enabling him to do so, but Synopsy and Tutsin have already responded without any flashes. These are dry as can be, so they're probably pretty happy about that. Synopsy coming in from the side, oh. though, has been hit and brought down. Thomas, beautiful as always, looking to keep it going, but this man of beauty is now a corpse of death. Surreal comes in and goes out very quickly. It's uh, it's a good old are you in or out situation, and he is definitely out. Yeah, this kind of feels like the pistol round victory in the second half for Endpoint on their T side of Train, where Secret might just be delaying the inevitable here. We'll see if they show some more signs of life than Endpoint did in the previous map. After all, Se Secret were able to secure that first one, so they have shown that they do have the capability to serve just show up in the servers and they're going to be going for a long play here this seems relatively safe given that endpoint have stacked most of their players towards middle and b catwalk and b that is but regardless the effect is the same i personally really dislike single lurkers against you know what's likely to be a force buy it becomes very troublesome if you just lose an AK-47. Robin, though, oh. is beautiful. Man, this guy's just... This guy just comes through sometimes, lights it up completely. And you're just wondering, what do I do in that situation? They're not peeking the correct angles, unfortunately. Even though there was a smoke gate thrown by Robin himself, if I'm not wrong. And Arquez takes down Surreal. And honestly, this... This is a done round, practically. Percy needs to, you know, put his cape on you know, get out his magical glasses that hide his identity and have gotten light up the bat signal. Percy, though, oh. one kill, two kill, three kill, could it be? Crucial has shown himself as well. Percy is reloading. He's got the angle and he's got the kill. He's smoking a cigar and he just lit it on the corpse of... Not lit it. I don't know. How... What do you call it when you, like, finish off a cigar and you're trying to... Maui, my English is bad. Ash what? Ash it. What? What? So when when you're like extinguishing a cigar, what do he you call it? it? He ashed it. He ashed it. Oh, yeah. interesting. He ashed it on his dead body. Is where I was going. Exactly. With, but I messed up. Yes. <laughs> Big victory from Secret there. They're now going to be able to play against a practically full eco round from Endpoint. Things did get hairy in the previous round. Thankfully for them, Percy was able to light up the scoreboard. And a cigar. And a cigar. <laughs> See, this, just, this is actually... Go for it, go for it. Just like Puppy does. <laughs> exactly. It to is a, no secret. Uh, to a monitor. It is no secret whatsoever. Lights Percy moving forward, almost getting a quick one tap. He's feeling confident, and why wouldn't he? Tutson's also able to move through. Mac 10 in hand, two quick kills. Very effective around from them so far, not losing a single player. Very important that they keep those players alive, get up that economy, because they do still have a ways to go. And then Tutsin is bringing up their buyer and some... <laughs> Wow. How is Synopsy over there? I don't actually know. I wasn't paying attention to him. Oh man, I thought or I thought Mighty was definitely going to take out. I think it was Percy. Wow, two HP. Mm. That is pretty scary. Yeah, this is a big round for Endpoint, though. Uh, they thankfully, I, I'm just glad that Endpoint managed their economy well because you can see that every first gun round they have either, like we can see, either a pretty solid op setup. They're actually going to go for the double op or utility. Mm. 
on their riflers. Yeah. So many teams I see overinvest and then they just don't have the necessary utility on their riflers. And that's just such a shame given that it's so important on the CT, CT side and just shows you have a fundamental understanding of how to play your spots. And look at how much Molly that does towards long already. Stompsy and Hudson going to be taken down so hard by those, those flames. Good shot from Crucial as well. Secrets getting picked apart across the map. Anarchist and Percy remain. But with a scout and just a Molotov, I don't see a way that they can get back into this round. Although there might be a lifeline towards B here as Mighty Max is the sole defender. So if they go for a contact play on him, they might be able to find a one for nil trade. Hmm. and be able to get into that bomb site but it's going to be a big if because mighty max he is playing this rather well absolutely this is uh it's a difficult one but percy has been the man to flush a thousand rounds and maybe it can be a thousand one unfortunately um i think they stopped counting after a thousand and that's why he said you know what it's fine we're fine um, one thing I have to say very quickly, though, is the reason why I actually have a decent amount of faith in Secret even now, not to say that I favor them, but I think they have a very good chance, is that we have seen on their CT side time and time again that one player will come out and make a play. And on CT side, that isn't as useful or as easy to translate into a win compared to terrorist side, where you can dictate the base, where you can get early kills. And you see that right there. He almost brings the player down. Thomas will be taking the next deal. He gets himself two kills. It might not have been the best example, but you know he ends up going down. Tudson gets two, and this could be another one if Crucial continues to miss shots like that. Flashbang will come through. Crucial gets a kill nonetheless. Anarch is in a one versus two, and now has picked up the AWP as well. It's his weapon of choice, but he's not been particularly great on it later on. He peeks through, goes down to Surreal, 12 to 8. And it looked doable, but unfortunately, looks are very often deceiving when it comes to secret and rounds. Yeah, if it weren't up to... If it weren't Surreal finding a kill while completely blind off there, crucial. that could have been... Or crucial. Uh, it, then it could have... Yeah, that could have easily swung the way of... Um, of secret there so uh a little bit of luck on the side of endpoint to secure that round but a very good start for them as they think they were up in a 5v3 advantage at yeah. one point but this Thomas is going to be a big goes. swarm onto crucial towards middle he thankfully flicks down in time and i just couldn't find the headshots fast enough with his block and so that's going to be a quick round and a little bit of aggression for crucial you love to see it but uh he will actually fall for his overextension there and Definitely an ill-advised peak, but when you have when you have that many Glocks in front of you right there, you it's hard to not get your eyes a little bit wide. Um, Endpoint calling for a technical pause here. Earlier in the day, they were having a few team speak issues. Hopefully, those don't persist into later in this series, and hopefully, things get resolved quickly. I don't know if that's actually team speak issues right now or what, but uh, nice shot of the backdrop to the a bomb site. In fact, these windows have been on a in a few places, I think across the map, but they actually look pretty good. I think this is I mean I'm not going to lie, you can't you can't mess with all the older... You know, Middle Eastern architecture. It looks really good in terms of the intricacy that's put into smaller things, like tiling and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's actually it actually goes kind of underrated. I think a lot of uh, Mediterranean mm. architecture in general borrows pretty heavily from the Middle East. And really, uh, yeah, um, you know, their influence has gone far and wide. And a lot of uh, I think modern architecture, well, not modern architecture concepts, but a lot of architecture concepts in total yeah. have stemmed from uh, Middle Eastern craftsmanship. Absolutely. I am impressed, Maui. As I generally am by you. Thanks. It's pretty much the things I talk about I tend to know things about, and I don't usually talk about the things I don't know about. Oh, Thankfully, I talk we're about... talking about Counter-Strike all the time, so I'm uh, well in my, uh, my realm of comfort. I'm very comfortable. I talk about a lot of things I don't know about. Mostly it goes like, Maui, what does this smoke do? <laughs> and Akez missing a shot down mid. So really good for climbing on the Molotov. They're playing anti-flash when they hear him moving across. Not sure if the flashman actually took the hearing away by that point, but 
I don't think it did. It seems a bit odd. Thomas with a late boost up onto shot. A very underrated procedure to be running in that situation. But when they get some more information that there might be players still out on long who you have to contest, he backtracks for a second. But now they do have two players very comfortable over here. And Akez got a bit too comfortable in that spot. But he actually has maybe to check the right angle. They're going to be... Come on, man. That is unlucky and unfortunate and slightly ill-advised all in one. Crucial gets two kills, will be taken down by one Flatro. It's a two versus three. It is doable, especially with the kind of ground that Synopsy had. They recover the bomb. They're moving forward. They don't have much utility, which is my only problem with this. If they take down Mighty Max, it's a completely different round, though. Oh, I love this. Oh, my God. You, you're not Such a good position. This is amazing. Dude, this guy's so smart. Yeah. This guy's... Like, that's just so smart. Oh, Juan, though, he might be the smarter one, and he might be the uh, beneficiary for his intelligence here as he's going to be making his way onto the bomb site. He's going to be getting the bomb down at the very least, so that's going to secure a uh, gun round for them moving forward. But he's going to just take the fight to them here. He's actually going to catch the first player uh... off guard, but a good trade for Mighty Max is going to put endpoint on round 14 here. He not only has a kit, but he's going to find an op as well. He had plenty of time to get either of those ops, but he chooses the one closer to him. Uh, I don't blame him. Sometimes you don't just want to walk farther for no reason a whatsoever. Skin. Yeah, and could have got him. Yeah, I don't know what this. I don't know which skin was which. I think he got. A, mm, what? Which one is this? I don't know. We'll see. find out. Oh, dang! He's too fast with it. Yeah, so, he doesn't so want we won't to see. see. Yeah. Good shots from Crucial here. This is a Absolutely. pretty gutsy secondary, second peak, but uh, it all works out for him. And I guess, I mean, what, uh, it's very frustrating for him. It's also a little bit questionable about why there's so much of a back and forth coming through in between the angles. He's checking, especially when there's an Xbox smoke down, that it's unlikely that you're going to be able to be pushed down from mid that quickly if you're looking there instead of short. But hey, it is what it is. Crucial. Beautiful shot. What was that? That was a pixel angle and he gets it. Fantastic stuff, man. Fantastic stuff. You don't generally see that outside of a land setting, but he brings it to us. Mighty Max is now here. The big brains and the big boy. Can he come through one more time? He's got to get a multi-kill if he wants to let Thomas be safe, especially now that that smoke has come through. And Akez will once again be tagged down incredibly low. Mighty Max will not prevent the bomb from being planted, but he does come through with a quick kill. He's being sprayed down through the smoke, but he's actually used the one thrown by the t side to his own advantage. Thomas being tagged through the car windows, and it's all up to Anakez, who's not been the best so far, but he'll get a few kills on his way out, it seems like. One more, and there you go. 8 to 15 endpoint are pretty much guaranteed to win this game at this point. Yeah, another bomb plant though is going to allow Secret once again to have a pretty complete buy moving forward. But the double op for Mighty Max and Thomas has proved, or it's really not them, but the ops that they have secured have proved rather effective for their teammates in Surreal and Crucial, who are both lighting up the scoreboard. Both of them have already dropped 20 bombs in this game. Can't say the same about Secret, where Juan Flatro, who has the most kills, has also been a very, or a rather confusing player at times for the Secret side. So um, we'll see if uh, in this round he's able to uh, continue with his success or will he and secret fall and will endpoint force a map three mm. thomas jump spotting i don't know if he saw that great he did made, made, regardless yeah. but yeah um they probably thought that was a smoke actually coming in towards them i'm guessing but Robin, oh. great shot at Tudson as well. Gets it through the scaffolding. Nasty peek right there. Sees the head of Percy as well. He's really playing this angle perfectly. Very few players uh, do that, actually. Surreal. Now he just has to wait for one more kill through the smoke. He's already got possession of the bomb. Five versus one. Now he, this game's done. Yeah, endpoint with a very convincing victory on Dust2. That's what you want to see from them. Yeah. They looked so good on it earlier today. It was going to be very tough for secret to win this one because this is not really one of secrets best maps either for that matter